so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm gonna show you how i was creating logos or something like that with using control net as one of my viewers just asked me that how you can make logos using control net and as you can see over here i was just using two of my created words over here first of all i was just using the, this w and i was also using an alphabet a simple alphabet a in order to create something like this something like a logo type you can definitely see it's literally amazing so guys in order to generate logo type images like like this i was just using three tricks on control net the first trick that i was using was just a single control net and with like canny model you can see definitely over here and the second trick that i was using was using multiple of control net with control net model 0 and control net model 1 so that was the second trick that i was using and the third trick that i was using was like with image to image section i will show you all of these tricks but let's get started with the first trick so with the first trick that i was using as you can see over here i was just using this model control net model 1 let me first of all show you the setting i was using art and arrows model uh, text to image and this was the prompt that i was using i was using prompt in order to like generate logos sampling steps 20 all are mattered and you can definitely see over here with like i just added one of the images that i created like this logo w image with something like cropped image enable low vram and i was using canny preprocessor as well i will show you with like depth model as well but yes first of all we will go with like canny preprocessor and weight one guidance strength one and that's the all thing that i was using and the main thing was like prompt so the prompt is the main thing that i was using and you can see definitely this was the first result that i got let's try to generate one more time and let's see what result do we get with like canny model one again Again. so guys this is the result that we got with like canny model and you can definitely see the result is pretty much amazing you can definitely judge if it's a logo or not i don't know because i have never created logo but you can see this was the prompt that i was using a steampunk alphabetic logo steampunk style so i was just using steampunk style with a glowing makeup parts okay so that's what the prompt that i was using and what we will do this time we will this time try to change this image as well so let's upload another image just like a and let's check with like a as well what we will do is that we will just load this set just load this set and let's see what result do we get with like a alphabet this time so guys this time with alphabet a you can definitely see this is the result that i got you can decide it it's a logo or not because let me tell you that i have literally never generated any logos so this is the result that we got with like this seed so what we'll do this time as well we will just mess with like random seed and let's see what result do we get with like alphabet a as well so let's see so guys as you can see this is the result that we got pretty amazing i don't know if it's a logo or not but definitely i can say i just love this type so that's the result that i got and you can generate so many results with like random seed as well just go on clicking to generate and you will generate lots of image with like different style as well and yes you can go on like generating different styles as well first of all with like different prompts as i showed earlier some of the image with like different prompt styles as well now what we will do we will just try it with like different model as well let's go with like depth model this time and we will try to like on this invert input color the reason to this is because invert colors if your image has white background that's why i selected now invert input color with like depth preprocessor and depth model and let's see what result do we get this time with like depth model as well so guys that's the result that we got with like depth model as you can see pretty amazing result i just love this style as well i don't know what about you but let me know in the comment section below guys if you love this image as well so that's the result that i got as you can see this was the depth map and yes this was the result so that's the result that i got with like depth preprocessor and depth model this time we will go with like uh, let's unselect this option once and let's see what result do we get with like unselecting this as well let's go and let's check what result do we get so guys this is the result that we got with like unselecting this invert input color so this is the result that i got and this time you can definitely see that depth map has a lot of details compared to like earlier when we selected invert color option i can definitely say that both of the images were great definitely there are a lot of details going on on this image but yes the earlier image was also great now let's go on to like multi-control model as well so this time we will go on to like multi-control model this is the second option that i was trying in this what i was doing just adding similar image to like this so on control model zero as you can see similar image and control model one also similar image so what i was doing in this just enable this low vram because i am using low vram and then in this i was just scribbling so i just selected scribble over here and what i was doing was that i just added some of the details couple of the details that's why i was just using these lines 
in order to get like some scribbles and this time we will go on control model let's go on to like canny model only we will test on canny model only on control model 0 and on control model 1 you can definitely see scribble preprocessor and scribble model and something scribble so this was the second trick that i was using and let's see this time what result do we get with like this scribbling so guys that's the result that i got with like multiple control net model let me explain you in detail but first let me tell you guys if you don't know how to use like multiple of control net model then i have already made a video related to this on how to use multiple control net model if you don't know how to use then the link will be already in the description so let me explain you why i use multiple control net model as you can see this is the result that i got first result with like any preprocessor model as i use any preprocessor on control net zero model and control net model one it was scribble preprocessor and scribble model so you can see this is the second result that i got with like scribble model and this is the result that i got so now if you clear see over here there are some minor details going on with like as i said with like scribble model you can definitely see there's are uh, scratches going on so in order to add like minute minute details you can use multiple control net model that's for like minute detail if you want to add something on your logos or something like that now this time we will go on to like we will generate one more result with this only so let's see one more result and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the second result that i got with like multi control model net and you can definitely see there are details going on such as like scratches going on and like going something lines over here so that's the result that i got you can decide in and let me know in the comment section below guys is there a need to use multiple of control net in order to generate images like this i think so i can definitely say that with like single control net model yes we were generating like great image as well but yes if you want to like add some more details onto your image then yes you can go and add multiple control net model as well so that's how i was using like second trick and the third trick that i was using was like image to image section let me show you how i was using image to image section and let's go so guys on image to image section what i was doing was that i was just adding a theme image over here as you can see this was the theme image that i was using and similar to this and this was the prompt that i used in order to generate this image that was the prompt that i was using and this was the theme image the next thing that i was doing was that i just input my image so this was the w alphabet that we were using and the next thing enable over here low vram over here only one control net model this time we will only go with like one control net model on image to image section and depth preprocessor depth model this is just weight one guidance trend one and that's all that i was using so we will try with depth model first of all and let's see what result do we get with like depth model so guys as you can see that's the result that i got with like i don't know what is this but you can definitely judge and let me know is this a logo or something like a uh art cover of the book i don't know what is this but let me know in the comment section below guys you can definitely see this was the result that i got with like depth map this is the result that i got first result that i got with this and yes let me know in the comment section below and we will try one more time and let's see what result do we get this time so guys as you can see that's the second result that i got pretty amazing result and yeah it's something like a art cover or book cover i can definitely say will it consider as a logo i don't think so it will consider it as a logo but yes that's the result that i got and this time we will also go with like let's go with like a as well let's upload a and let's see what result do we get with like a as well let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys that's the result that i got with like alphabet a and yes definitely i can say this is not a logo something else but yeah one thing that i realized that with like first two tricks with like single control net model and like double control net model i was getting good results something like this and yes that's the three thing that i was testing today with like logos and yes definitely i can say that if you know any of the trick in order to generate some good logos with using stable diffusion and control net then do let me know in the comment section below because i was just trying i was just giving a try with these things so that's the thing that i wanted to show you today and i hope so guys you like this video and I will be back with more and more videos tomorrow. Till then, have a good day, guys. Bye, guys. Love you all, guys. And yes, do share something with me, some ideas with me in order to generate some logos. So that's it for today. And yes, bye, guys. Love you all, guys. Bye, guys.